everyone, it's Miss Sims here. Today is one of my favorite projects and we get to start not just working on art because we're practicing different elements of art, but today we're going to work on art from a new place. So it's called geographic art. This art is going to look like it is from Amsterdam, which is also in the country of Holland, sometimes called the Netherlands. Um, and from now on, we're going to keep working on some different locations of art as well as learning about different guests, artists, and elements. I'm really excited for this and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's go ahead and get started. So here is Seattle and we are doing art all the way over here from Amsterdam and we are going to work on canal houses and drawing what these houses look like on these canals or like rivers. Our goals for the day are to overlap as a technique to show space, and space is a big element of art. We're going to do that by making sure the boats are in front of the houses where the canals are on, so that way we can make sure it looks actually real. To help make these look more real, we're also going to add details to each item of our artwork, so none of your buildings are plain, and each building and boat should look different because none of the houses or boats look exactly the same. Today, all you'll need is a white piece of paper, a black permanent marker, make sure it's a permanent marker, and then something straight. A ruler works best, but if you don't have it, you can use a box or anything with a straight line that you can trace. So I just have two quick tips before we get started. Number one is to take your time on this project. This project, which I've done a lot of times, took me at least an hour for the first half. So this is a big project, much bigger than what we normally work on. And it's okay if you need to split that up, maybe do 20 minutes here, 20 minutes tomorrow, whatever you need to do. The more details you add though, the better. And that's my second tip. The more details make it look more real and more exciting also. So adding more details is a really great idea. So here we go. I have my paper horizontally. I have a Sharpie, which I know for sure is a permanent marker. You guys all got a permanent marker a while ago in your supplies too. Basically the first thing we're going to do, and I know it seems weird, is we are going to make a two finger space at the bottom so that we leave room for the river, but we need to make our boats first. So I left that two finger space, I'm kind of drawing a line, and then I'm just stopping because we're only going to see part of this boat. You can feel free to watch how I'm doing this first before you start drawing. Basically, I'm gonna make this kind of a pontoon boat, which means it has a floating section at the bottom, and then it has another section on top that people actually use to be inside of. I'm going to make even more boats and keep going, making sure I leave the same two finger space at the bottom where I create my bottom line. And that way they will all look like they're in the same point of the water because we don't want them to look like at different parts of the canal. Once I have their basic shapes, I can start adding details, making these boats look more real. A lot of boats have extra layers on top. They might have balconies, windows, doors for people to get in and out of. You are going to add as much detail to these boats as you would like. You are also going to add little ripple marks with your marker anywhere that the boat is touching. So I'm doing the corners of the boats as well as like my anchor that hung down and my ladder. So it looks more realistic. Go ahead and pause here and add all of your details before you keep going with the video. Now, once you have that, we can keep going with our project. And the next thing we need to do is make the edge of the canal. So we know where the water stops and kind of like the sidewalk and the house areas start. So, what we're going to do is create a straight line that is just a tiny bit higher than the boat and then you'll do another one about a one finger space. You'll continue those lines across so it looks like the lines continue all the way through and that the boats are in front. You don't want these lines to cross your boats because then it won't look like we're using the element of art of space and overlapping things. All right, now we get to start making the building. So if you don't have a ruler, I'm gonna show you using a marker box just in case you don't have a ruler, but a ruler would work the best. Basically, we're going to create five lines that go across. So make sure that you leave a two finger space at the top, just like we did at the bottom. Your line should not go all the way up to the top, maybe even a three finger space. And then you're going to kind of evenly space these lines out. So there's one line and it did not go over the boat. It touched the edge of the boat and then it went up. Keep doing this until you have five lines across. Even if some of your lines end up being really close to the edge, try and space the ones in the middle out the right way. Now we need to make a roof for each building. 
These can be straight lines that go across or they can be really unique roofs. Remember, the more details you add, the cooler these houses are going to look. You can also use your straight edge if you need it or you can just do it by hand. Your roofs might have windows and they might even start at different places in the building so it looks like some of your buildings are different heights. Remember to pause as you go because like I said, this took me about an hour so this video is going through everything very fast. The next thing we're going to do is add the details to our buildings, which most buildings that are super tall like that are going to have lots of windows, kind of like a skyscraper, and then if you can see the bottom of them towards the canal, they'll probably also have doors. You are going to do this for each building, adding as many details as you can, making sure the windows look like real windows, so they might have lines going through them, they might have curtains going through them, some windows might be open so you can actually see like little plants or animals inside. Even do the buildings where you can only see a tiny bit on the edge. Remember, the more details you add to this, especially unique details, flags, flower boxes, anything you can think of, the cooler this project is going to look. Take your time and have fun making this your own. Now, I know that was a lot of work for one day, but these are going to turn out really amazing when you're done, and I just can't wait to see what type of details you added. You do not need to turn anything in today because next week we will be coloring in all of these details, which will also take us a long time, but it will be really rewarding. I hope you had fun and got to make your little canal city your own, and I will see you next week to add even more details to our project. See ya!